Hi guys, Nathan here from JS Power Sports doing a quick little video on how to align your drive shaft. Um, we actually start at a, at a point a little further back than what most people do, if you can, if your motor mounts and your engine plate will allow you to. But I've got both the plugs removed here so we can easily move the drive shaft. And as you can see back here, we've got a gap on the top and all the factory shims, which are hard to see, but they're all in place, just like they're supposed to be. It's just without the bolts in there yet. And as you can see, we've got a gap on top. And when we rotate this around, we can turn both pieces. And we're going we're gonna to find out that the gap still stays on the top, whether we turn the engine or the drive shaft. And the bottom's about touching. Now, you can also slide it back like this. This is usually your final stage on testing. But this is a little more difficult sometimes to see where the gaps are because you can't get your hands in around here or feeler gauges or drill bits or whatever your method is for trying to um, get it trued up. So this one's close, but as you can see on the top, we were off by probably 20, maybe 25 thousandths. So we're going to be either reducing shims on the back or adding to the front. Um, and sometimes you have to do all four to kind of raise it up and tilt it. And we've got uh, added some additional shims down in here on the engine on each side of the front. And we've got our couplers lined up. We have a, a flashlight underneath. And as you can see, I think you can see, the gap is about the same all the way around. And then we've, we've, we have spun it about a third of a turn. So we're top and bottom and so on. We've tested all of it. And now it's, it's in really well, really good alignment. So the final stage will be go ahead and turn this like this, slide it back in, and make sure that nothing else changes on us. And then we are going to leave a little bit of a gap in between the shafts, and of course we'll be putting our rubber coupler in there before we finalize things. But we will leave a gap in there so that the metal right in here is not banging against the metal here. Now this isn't necessarily the manufacturer's fault, although it can be. But uh, as holes break in and engine mounts break in and so on and, uh, and the rubber changes a little bit, uh, usually squishing down, um, the alignment uh, gets out. And uh, this is free horsepower, so if you have a little time to take and, and do this or if you're ever into the engine for any reason, definitely take a minute to align your drive shaft properly, shim your engine up to the right spots, and like I say, it's free horsepower. Okay, we have our shims in place on each motor mount. And back here, you can see, we've got a little under an eighth of an inch gap. It's about, actually about 85 thousandths. Um, so around 2.25 millimeters, somewhere in there. And that gives a little bit of flex between the uh, engine and, and the mid shaft. And that's where we recommend setting them. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.